Hello IT Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video we're going to reset the system password for a Dell Optiplex 9030 all-in-one. So as you can see that's the whole computer and now I'm going to allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and I will turn on the computer. So as soon as I turn it on and the computer boots up, we see the Dell logo and we see this message. This computer system, the serial number, is protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password. Please type the system or administrator password. And as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So I'm going to type it a few times. So, but again, I don't have it. So we cannot reset the password using software because we cannot access the a USB or the BIOS or Windows. So we have to reset the password using hardware, okay? So if you want to know more about resetting the system password or BIOS password for um, many models, you can do it in the playlist on the top right of this screen. So next, we don't have anything else to do, so we have to shut it down. Allow me a few seconds to show you around. So I'm going to disconnect everything. I'm going to disconnect the power as well. So allow me a few seconds and I'm going to turn the computer on over. So as you can see here, this is how it looks. Um, and now make sure that you have a flat surface. Maybe you are going to use a cloth or something so you don't damage the screen. Okay, so in my, in my case, this desk is very flat, doesn't have anything on it. So I'm not going to damage it. So now here we are. So. The first thing you have to do, well, I'm showing you Optiplex and you can see there the serial number that is covered. You see all these in the back. And now we have to release these two locks. I'm showing you here with my two fingers, but I did a pretty bad job doing it. So I'm going to show you here. So as you can see, you see those two locks that says one on one. You have to push them to the, to the center. In some other models, there are screws, but in this specific model, we have these two locks, okay? So once you put the two locks in the middle, you push them to the middle, uh, uh, it's going to be free to remove the cover. So to, please do that, or otherwise you're going to have a really hard time, or you might break some of the locks inside the case. So now that I have done that, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm showing you that I don't have any jewelry or any watches on my hands or on my wrist. And now I'm going to press the power button for around 10 seconds. This video is sped up in many places, so you don't have to wait the actual time. So using your thumb, you can release that. You have to press it kind of hard. I'm going to use my other thumb <laughs> because apparently it's more it's stronger. And that's how you release it. So you can see there the hole and you can and that's the button that you have to press. So we're going to put it aside. We don't need it for now. And next, since I have released the locks, we have to start uh, pulling up as I'm doing it here. So if this is the first time you're doing this, I advise you to do it very carefully. Take your time. Don't rush it because you might break things that I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. But you have to pre uh, pull it up very slowly the way I'm doing it. And you're going to hear some cracks that it's not, it doesn't mean it's your uh, you're breaking the case. It just means you're releasing all the locks that it has. So as you can see here, I'm removing it slowly. And I have, uh, I have unlocked, if you will, all the lower part. So I'm going to pull it up, as you can see me do it here. And the upper part is, in my opinion, the most difficult. You have to be very careful, care careful when you remove it, so you don't break anything. And again, be very careful when you do this, especially if this is your first time trying to do this. So as you can see here, I'm going, I have removed it. I want to show you the locks. So that's kind of the clips, I'm sorry. And that one is kind of broken. So that's something that you have to avoid, okay? So as you can see here, I'm showing you inside. All these locks are plastic. So make sure that you do it as carefully as you can, okay? So you are never very careful. <laughs> now, I'm showing you the... Uh, everything so you can see the fans you can see the processor well the fan for the processor you can see the connector the USB and it's very dirty so taking advantage that I removed the, co uh, the case I'm going to just use my compressed air to clean it a little so it's going to be better it has a lot of dust and after we have done that we are going to continue so most of the things on this model is on the on the right in this part and by the way, I have a video where I removed the, the hard drive for this model. I replaced it for an SSD. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below for that video. So you have to press with your fingers or with your thumb or sometimes with a screw, with a screwdriver, 
and now you can remove it. Sometimes it's very hard, but in this case, it was okay. It was, wasn't that bad. So you remove it that way. And now we can see many things. We can see the RAM, we can see the uh, CMOS battery there. We can see the HDD, the hard drive. And this is expandable. You can put an M2 SSD here if you need more space. So now we have to look for the jumper. So in this model is over here. You can see here, I'm going to do a close up. And there you go. You can read their password jumper and you can see it's kind of blue. I have seen it in other, in other colors like black, so, but in this case it's blue. So keep that in mind. And the only thing we have to do is remove it. As you can see here, we have other pins, that one, that one, and the one where the jumper is. So just using your fingers, you don't, you don't need to use much, much strength. So you just remove it, very easy. Uh, I'm not touching any of the electronics on the, on the motherboard. I try to avoid that because we don't really need it. So that's the way you can avoid damaging your motherboard or the circuitry. So I did something with the camera there, so now you can see it better. So I removed the, the jumper. I don't have anything else to do here. So the next step is going to be to, this is a good time for you to, to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like and press the like button. Okay. So now I'm showing you, uh, I put it against the wall. You can see the motherboard in all its glory. I'm going to connect the power now, as you can see there, and I'm going to turn it around and put it again against the wall. So I'm going to connect also the USB for the keyboard and the mouse. And then I'm going to press the power button so we can see what happens now. I press it on the right with my, with my hand and we're waiting a few seconds. And there you go, Dell logo. And the video is slow down in this part because we're going to see this message. The hardware jumper is removed to override the system password setting. System password has been erased and password cannot be changed. Please connect the hardware jumper to perform any password changes. So this goes by very fast. So that's why the video is slowed down. And after that, that's pretty much it works in other words. So after this message is, uh, goes by, you have access to Windows now. But if you don't put the jumper back, as it says, everything is going to give you this message every time you turn on the computer. So we don't want that. As you can see here, and here's Windows. We don't have anything, anything else to do here. I'm going to just shut it down. And now I'm going to disconnect uh, the power, as you see me doing here. Also, I'm going to remove the, the mouse and the keyboard and all, any other uh, device that I might have connected to this computer. So I'm going to turn it over again. I'm going to put it um, the screen facing the, uh, the table. And now uh, the only thing I'm going to show you here, and the only thing uh, left to do for us is to put back the jumper the same way we did it, the same way we remove it. So we're going to be in the same place as you can see me doing here. And that's pretty much it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty much it, all we have to do here. And next, we have to put the, the cover, this first cover. And it's very easy to do. You just have to make it fit and you press it to the left and you, you're going to hear a click. Now we're going to put the cover. So we start from the, from, the bottom, from the top, I'm sorry. I'm showing you here, well, you're not seeing it. I'm going to allow me a few seconds. And you can see here all the clips. So we have to make them fit as well. So that might take you the first time, a few seconds. It's not difficult at all to do. It's very, very, very simple. And then once you have done that, you're going to feel that it fits. And now you can put the rest of the cover. So you're going to hear some cracks when I start pressing it. As you can hear there. So the only thing I'm doing here is press it down every every part, and you have heard the noises. So once you ha once you stop hearing the noises, it means everything is secure. So I'm going to press the power button for around 10 seconds now to get rid of any power stored in the capacitors on the motherboard. And now I'm doing my final check. I don't hear any more no I mean cracks. And now I'm going to put the stand. You can see here we have these two kind of, well, I don't know what to call them, but they have to fit in these two square holes. So I just put it there. 
press it down and you hear the click so that's pretty much it and now comes the final test well the semi-final test i have to pull it up and it doesn't have to fall so as you can see here i'm doing that nothing is falling so that's pretty good so we have done it correctly so now i'm going to allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera i'm going to connect uh, the power i'm going to connect the usb mouse and the usb keyboard and then we're going to start the computer we're going to turn it on to see what happens now uh, let me for some more seconds there is the Dell logo and now i'm pressing f2 to access the bios so there you go allow me a few extra seconds to adjust the camera well all i think that's gonna be it so you can read their dell optiplex 9030 all in one now we have access to the bios so we are going to go to security we expand it now we go to system password and as you can see on the right it's not set so this is the password that was configured at the beginning of the video that's why as soon as you turn on the computer you are going to you are going to be asked for that password so it's not configured now it has been erased and we can also see the admin password which is the password for the bios that means you can access the bios you can access windows but you cannot do any change to the bios all right so i'm going to go now to the boot sequence i'm going to show you that you can change anything i'm going to remove the diskette and i can save the changes or i i can just press escape and it's going to restart the computer because i'm just showing you that the password is no longer there we have reset it now i'm not going to press anything now windows is loading and as you can see we have access to windows now so that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, a way to reset the BIOS or system password for this specific model and Dell Optiplex 9030 all-in-one. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.